morning everybody god bless so this is uh, I'm gonna read a few scriptures from Romans 6 as you once yielded your bodies to the service of impurity and lawlessness making for moral anarchy so now you must yield them to the service of righteousness making for a holy life this is Paul when you were slaves of sin you were free from the control of righteousness and what gain did that bring you things that now make you ashamed for their end is death but now freed from the commands of sin and bound to the service of God you have gains that lead to holiness and the end is eternal life for sin pays a wage and the wage is death I was just talking about this in a video that I did about why believers are sick why people get sick and have pains it's sin and it says you know right here I just noticed that sin pays a wage and it's death all sin is atoned for has to be atoned for in some way but God gives freely and his gift is eternal life in union with Christ Jesus our Lord King Savior Messiah and Redeemer so if I am doing stuff like this right is that living a holy life is that telling God that I am I'm thankful uh, for this this temple of the Holy Spirit <clears throat> also in Romans 6 it says for if we have become identified with him in his death we shall also be identified with him in his resurrection Amen. That's so awesome. So, um, now we see here in John, it says, Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them. Because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. So, you guys, there's a big separation between the, the first fruits children of God and the second heart, those who are saved or in the second harvest or um, those that are, yeah, I'll just say that, second harvest. Because the first fruits children of God are the saints. They're the modern day saints and who will rule as and reign as kings and priests. And they are called overcomers also and so if you're doing stuff like this and going back into the world what I do is <clears throat> now from this moment on, I want to I want to say a story about last week when I was at work. I had to pick up this huge, heavy piece of concrete, okay, and um, and I asked the Lord, Lord, let me draw, let me draw my, let me draw my strength from you, Lord. I said, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I draw my strength from you, and I picked up this huge over a hundred pound piece of concrete and it was light you guys it was it was light 
So I'm telling you guys, when we use the word, like, if ever, from this moment on, whenever I get, like, a craving or I get stressed out or I feel like I want to do this, I've got two, four, I've got six in here. So I'm going to leave them. And whenever I get a craving or I get stressed out, I'm going to say, I'm going to use the word. I'm going to use the word against the enemy. And I'm going to say, greater is he that is in me. Oh. I'm going to say, greater is he that is in me than I that am in the world. And I guarantee you, I guarantee you, brothers and sisters, that if you're having uh, like a, you know, cigarette problem or marijuana, any, any type, anything like that, you guys, anything like that, any sort of worldly weakness, um, if you say this, if you use the word against the enemy, it will work. It's just, um, it's just, it's really, it's up to you whether you're going to do it or whether you want to do it, really. You guys, it's the choices that make us, the choices, yes, we are made righteous by what he has done, by the finished work of Jesus Christ, but you guys, if you, if we are constantly making bad choices, that shows who we are. And even if we are um, saved, we will be lowest in the kingdom. Those are not choices. When you make choices like that, that's not consistent with being an overcomer. You see what I'm saying? I'm not saying some people aren't saved that make decisions like that. Because cause, uh, I, I read a scripture the other day, you know. But... Whenever we do stuff like this, you guys, like like whenever I get a craving and I say, greater is he that is in me than I that am in the world, that gives glory to God. That literally, that illumin that, that literally get, puts, puts energy out and gives it to God. It's just that you can't see it. And so not only does this help us overcome, go to relax. Um, not only does the word allow us to overcome these things in the world, um, it also gives glory to God. There's a brother in Christ who he was talking, um, about Samson when Samson was bringing the pillars down like that. And he, what he was saying when he was, um, he was saying something like, Lord, you are my strength. And he brought these huge concrete pillars down. So, um, you guys use the word against the enemy. Leave these, leave these things of the world like this, you guys. And, and marijuana, you guys, I know, you guys, I am tired, you know. I know, I know what that's like being tired. I know it's hot when you're working, I know there's stresses that, that come at you from every side. That's the whole, that's what the enemy wants you to do, but don't, he wants you to give in to those, but don't let him win. Use the word against the enemy. Anytime that, if you say that, oh, I need to take this, you know, every day, you know, these, these pharmacias, you can overcome that. He is the ultimate physician. You just have to believe. You got to make the choice and you have to believe and use the word against the enemy. Because greater is he that is in you than you that are in the world. For whatsoever is born of God, God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world even our faith.